Hey Vasa athletes, I'm Dan Daly here at Poolside in the Pennsylvania suburbs for another workout as part of Vasa's Lane 9 Dryland Workout Series. Today's workout is going to be a full body strength and conditioning circuit using the Vasa Trainer Pro with an emphasis on speed and strength. We're going to do three to six sets of six to eight repetitions of the following movements. A swim specific exercise, a lower body exercise, a pushing exercise, a core exercise, and then finishing with a pull. For our first exercise, we'll kick it off with a swim specific sprint for 30 seconds, a double arm butterfly pull. This is a great exercise for surf paddlers or surf break starts in triathlon. Using the pulley attachment and paddles, we'll get on the trainer pro. The focus here on the pull is gonna be pulling right in front of the shoulder with a nice high elbow, fingers down and then recovering as if our hands are just above the water surface. We're gonna go all out here for 30 seconds. Next for our lower body exercise, we're going to do streamlined squat jumps. This is a great exercise for developing explosive power off starts and turns and general lower body power. Let's first establish our streamline. We're gonna go one hand over the other, arms overhead, biceps by the ears, no space between the arms and the head. From there, we'll set up our feet, hip width apart, toes turned out. When you're ready, we're gonna do each one of these eight reps individually, thinking hands back, hips back into a quarter squat, pushing the floor away, exploding off the ground into a tight streamline, and then a nice soft landing. Next for our upper body push, we're going to work overhead positioning and strength. Being able to get efficiently overhead is important for swimmers to maintain healthy shoulders, and to be able to establish and generate efficient force and power. We're gonna get down on all fours in front of the trainer on our hands and knees. Hands right under your shoulders. Knees are right under the hips, slightly wider than the shoulders with the toes tucked. You're gonna lift your knees one inch off the deck and establish a nice flat tabletop back. With an inhale, you're gonna reach forward, drive into the trainer with your right hand, reach up with the left, replace the left, replace the right and we'll repeat alternating sides for a total of eight repetitions. And next for core, we'll come to the back of the trainer for reach outs. Beginning in a plank position down on the swim bench, elbows right underneath the shoulders, palms down. Feet nice and wide. We want to first establish an anchor down on a long body line from the back of the head to the heels. With an inhale, we'll reach away from the body, keeping the hips down as far as we can, and then bring the elbows back underneath the shoulders. We'll repeat here for eight repetitions. And last for our pull, we're going to do a high incline lat pull down with the straps to further develop some of the same musculature we use for swimming. First, we'll replace the pulley system with the straps. Then we'll raise the incline from a one to a 15, but you can choose a height that's most appropriate for you.
We'll bring the bench up to us, lie face down, and then grab both straps and lower ourselves slowly. We want to first start nice and long here. Arms overhead, biceps by the ears, nice tall body line. And we'll initiate the pull here by driving the elbows down to the body, keeping the fists in line with the elbows at all times. Lower yourself nice and slow, and then once you're comfortable, you can explode up and down slow. After those five movements, take two minutes rest, adjust the trainer, and then start again from the top for three to six sets. So whether you were just following along or you're looking for new and challenging dry land workouts for your swim routine, give this a shot and challenge yourself. Let us know what you think in the comments and look out for more workouts from Vasa's Lane 9 Dry Land Workout Series. Thank you.